what's going on YouTube welcome again to another video so today we'll be working on my wife's 2017 Triumph Tiger 800 XCX low ride height model we'll be installing the heat crash bars that I ordered from Poland so they're a pretty popular brand uh, I've seen the brand um, with KTM super adventures in the past but so I guess European bikes in general that they offer this kind of crash bars too so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the packaging when it came to me and we'll go through it, open it up, see all the parts and see how easy it is to install. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, so all right, let's get to it. All right, so when you get the packaging, it's pretty rough because it goes through customs. So here in the US, it goes through customs somewhere in New York and it, from New York, it has to ship to me all the way to California. So I don't know, maybe they opened it up because they see that it's all bars inside it might be like you know something uh, questionable so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see hopefully everything is intact and nothing had fallen out so I took it out that uh, I took it off that box uh, out of that junk box right there uh, but as you can see it's still completely intact so the plastic wrapped around all the parts and foam is wrapped around on all the pipes so I guess I can be assured that the pipes are not bent, damaged, or nicked, or you know, with the paint and all that. So it looks very intact. So it looks like there's uh, some instruction manuals there and hardware right here. So I'm gonna go and open this up, lay it out on the floor here, and we can get a better scope of what we have here. So you can see that's all there is. Uh, so the hardware stuff I think is in there in that small plastic, and that's the instruction manual. And the bars are right here. So it's one piece. One piece for the lower and the upper part of the bike on both sides. Very simple. Um, it took me a good while to remove all the foam that's covering all the pipes. So you can be rest assured that the, the pipes will arrive to you in a really nice condition. So even though we went through customs and the outer box is messed up, the inside is definitely secure. So there you go. So we'll get to it right now and... All right, so let's get to it. All right, YouTube. So the first order of business is to install this middle bracket, which is kind of tricky because you got to reach into here and try to get, um, you see this U, this U clamp right there on top of the headlight, on the headlight stock right here. So it's kind of tricky to hook that up there and put the screws into it, these ones right here. So it's just kind of tricky. Uh, sorry, it's not focusing. Yeah, so just, you know, be patient with it. And then, um, yeah, so now we have the front, the middle uh, bracket installed. So we're going to install the left and the right crash bars now. I got the right side crash bars installed. Um, the screws are not all the same. Uh, the right side uses a shorter spacer right here there's like a long spacer and a short spacer so the right side has the short spacer also on the front end here there is one uh one of the screws have a spacer the instructions are very easy to follow so i you, you won't have any issues at all i'm just gonna just note this on the video that you know there is a spacer here um the other side doesn't have a spacer down here so and the the top part here has a shorter spacer so i, I got this mounted mounted up it's just loose for now and it's mounted up to the front here and I'm gonna tighten it up once I finish the left side. All right, YouTube, so we're closing out. Um, I got all the bars uh, mounted up. Um, I got it all mounted loosely right now, so you, can, you know, it still moves. I still have to secure it. Uh, just make sure to mount it loose for now so all the bolts are, are able to make, you know, to connect and then just verify everything. The instructions are very, very um, thorough, so it's you're not gonna miss a step. So don't worry about you know bolts going where the, the instructions is really well done. Um, so there you go. So got the crash bars on this side. The tricky part, like I said before, is the the bracket, the the inside bracket, the middle bracket here. Uh, it's like a balancing act between the two sides. So. Um, just make sure everything is loose so you know it can flex and and um, bend and stuff like that before you secure everything up 
Um, so in the middle part here where the radiator is, there's no there's no cross brace. The cross brace is up here. So it's pretty strong. The cross brace is really, really strong steel. So it protects uh, this side now. But um, your turn signal is still a little bit exposed. So that will break unless you get like a short one. Uh, other than that, it looks really solid. So show you guys like a wider shot. Let's go to the other side. It's really, really stealthy. So we chose the black color. There is a silver one, um, but the black really just goes with the bike, as you can see. So I'm gonna go uh, tighten this up and give you guys another walk around. All right, guys, so we are finally done. So um, as you can see, it's very stealthy, like I said before. Uh, so these things, like I said, install them loosely first. Uh, this part here, there is a screw under here. This is just a cover. You can pull that off, so make sure it's easier to tighten up the bolts. So I made sure everything is tight. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ride the bike, uh, you know, just like a shakedown test, see what rattles out and check the bolts again. Uh, but yeah, so here's what it looks like. I'll give you guys a nice walk around. Like I said, I'll do a proper um, review of the bike on another video, but this one is just to install the heat crash bars, which I think is the best crash bars for this bike, which covers, if not all, the vital parts, even the bodywork. So in conjunction with the bark busters, you have a full protection here when the bike falls down. Um, the, the bark buster, this one is like used. So we, we got this one, like I said before, we got this from her old 690 enduro and she dropped that bike many times and it's still holding up it's just the plastic has been scratched up you can just replace the plastic uh the the metal is super tough so uh what else so yeah so there it is it covers the plastic it covers the plastic instead of the oem only covers the bottom part that doesn't really protect anything once you drop the bike you'll break all the plastic so here's what it looks like on the front so i think What's good with this bar is you can actually mount lights here instead of over here because the stock mount mounting location is in this area and you can actually mount things on this side now. But that's, you know, just, just uh, food for thought there. Yep, so if you guys have any questions and anything of that nature, uh, let me know. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to stay in touch with future videos, uh, just, you know, hit the subscribe button as usual. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.